Hufflepuff. So, you know, I heard a lot about it. So I just wanna wanna get right into it. I heard that every single one is different, <laughs> companion-wise, and uh, like companions and uh, story. Like there's different things you can do as a Slytherin, Griffin. Let's go with a girl this time. What's this? The side brows? Oh! I got a little cute face. We'll go with you. Wait, 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 wait. I kind of like the hair the way it is, honestly. Let's go with this one. Give it a little bit of shade to it. Dun 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 Oh Ow <laughs> Super freckles no, I'm just kidding Hey come back here Jin, like, can we just go for Jin? I'll go with my last name, I guess. Mobus. What if I changed it to a wizard? Wait, okay. We are almost ready to depart. It's a pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me the whole time we Hey, yo, where'd you come from? Oh, <laughs> Eleazar! George! 
Glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theater goers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm -hmm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea. As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. Not at all, sir. After you. Also, if you Ages look, you can't see the Thestrals. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Just pay attention to that. Just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? A new student. New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? No. Oh. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the Ministry, I believe he is a significant threat. And it was your wife, Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. Hey, I opened it. How did you wait? We did. Hey, bro. Hey, look. Now you can see the festival. Because you just saw that guy die.
Dang, boy. Are you all right? You're hurt. Perhaps a bit. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Ugh. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he... What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? <sighs> Sir? <sighs> where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a portkey. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. I'm feeling better, sir. If you'd like to look around a bit. I would. But stay close. We've no idea who created this port key. Or why. Okay, let's go. How far did that porky take us? Farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. Sir, those roads. Do you think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path. However faded it may be. Right, all right. Let's go. Let's run, boy. Mind your step. The path to Where do you heart suppose heart. your wife got the port key that brought us here? A good question. <laughs> Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long-forgotten form of ancient magic. <laughs> ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. <laughs> Hogwarts Castle was built by and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the port key, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. But, sir, why okay. was your wife searching for evidence of lost magic? Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Excellent! a bit rougher than I'd expected. <laughs> ah, up there. Oh. Ah, up here. 
Sorry, I just dug my face in your butt. Did it mean to? Now. It's just ahead. Steady yourself! Race to the finish line. <laughs> Almost there. Out of my way, boy. That was cheating. Why would someone who built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. The poor kid led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. Revilio. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home. Human professor That Fig. enchanted crystallized stone again. But what could it be blocking? What's this? Professor Fig! Hurry up, bra. How odd. Why would someone have conjured that enchanted stone here? And how is there a room behind it? What room? I don't see anything. There's that glow again, like the glow on the portkey container. What in Merlin's name? Godric's heart. Where are we? I don't believe it. Up. Yeah, I'm with the right. Enough games, wake Hello? up. Just a moment. <laughs> This way, then. Stay close. Hey, hey. After you, Ringots. Uh, keep your hands inside the cart. 
if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> Let's go then, bye. How many volts are there in Green Dots? Hundreds. In fact, you'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Green Dots? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. Mm -hmm. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. It's like, I know he's he's up. He even, Mr. Fig saw it too. He was like, uh, he looks kind of shady. last time this vault was accessed. A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. No, I didn't even get to open the chest. Vault 12, thank you for your help. I hope I get to come back and open that chest, bro. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait! Thank you, Black. <sighs> Professor? That was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm. Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. You know Let's I'm already going to spam missing, that. Ready your wand and focus. Uh, run, come on. Ah, let's get close. Revelio. There, I saw something. Move a bit closer and try again. Why are you moving so much? Just making sure there's nothing else in here. The door. Well, that's a start. It's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to 
I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw in the portkey container. If what you can see reveals the way forward, then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Let's go. Lumos. Velio. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again, but on the floor. Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you all right? Yes, sir, I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue. What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio. I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait. When you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm. Perhaps you should cast Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection is turning towards me. It does follow the light. Uh oh. Spaghetti o. This way, follow the light. What's happening? The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. Oh, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Lumos, Revelio. I suppose I'm on my own this time. It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here.
champions. What is that? I wonder where Mr. Pig went. He just gone. Boy just gone. for viewing memories. I wonder... may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies it. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We will. It all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But, sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. <laughs> Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Never. <coughs> uh, sir, they had the key to the vault. <laughs> yeah. 
Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you did tell oh. And that guy's dead. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. Hmm. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I bet he couldn't even do all the trials, boy. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Thank you. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? Ooh, he's in trouble. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. The sorting ceremony is over. There were. Complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... 
goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig, and I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. Let's see. Professor Weasley, we've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. He is very upset. Ah, yes. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations. Certain expectations. I can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Hmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Mm. Oh, but you're brave at heart. Exceptionally daring. Undaunted by the unknown. Willing to forge ahead alone when you must. Perhaps you belong in Gryffindor. And your loyalty to a friend delayed your arrival here this evening. Better be Hufflepuff. I'm a Hufflepuff. <laughs> Who? Hey, you can't be permission to do that. I can change myself, thank you very much. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Wow. Enough. It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. Huh? But, don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. That means go, guys. Get. Scat. Skadoodle. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm Professor Weasley. Would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. Might be a bit of work, but I'm sure that's never stopped you before. It hasn't, Professor. Now, here we are at the entrance to the Hufflepuff common room. This is the entrance? Indeed. I will explain what to do, but I hesitate to do it myself as one errant knock leads to being doused in vinegar. Most unpleasant. You must tap the barrel, two from the bottom, middle of the second row, in the rhythm of Helga Hufflepuff. Helga Hufflepuff. Well done. Now go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. 
Sleep well. I will, Professor Weasley. I'm getting exploited. Oh, oh, looks like everyone's on. gone. Better head to the common room. Revelio. I'm a half a puff. I'm a half a puff. I'm a half a puff. Hey, 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 hey. Look up. I don't even have one of those yet. Sniffler. What is going on with my feet? I suppose some introductions are in order. She's awfully regal, isn't she? Is that your owl? I don't know whose she is. Likely one of the Hufflepuffs around here. Owls choose their own company anyway. Wait, you're the new fifth year. Quite the dramatic entrance you made. Can't imagine wanting to call attention to yourself, especially since everyone will be watching to see how much you already know. I'm not worried. I'm really not worried. I'm sure I'll be fine. Nevertheless, it is rather unusual. You must feel terribly out of place. Of course, presumably, as a hard-working Hufflepuff, you'll prove yourself in no time. I'm hard-working too, as you might suspect. But sometimes I think I should have been a Ravenclaw. I've rather a searing wit. <laughs> At least people have always told me so. I'm Lenora, by the way. Lenora Everly. Well, mustn't keep you. You've such a lot to do. Nice to meet you. It was you. nice meeting you, Lenora. Of course. Adieu. Adieu. Arthur's got you. You don't need to frighten you, little cat. Mm. Oh, I just broke that plate. My bad. I just made it up for right. Uh, I can't quite reach. Uh, come on, you went that way. Hope they can catch him. Big castle for a student to get lost in, let alone a cat. <laughs> I'm sure you'll find your way, all right? I mean, it can be a bit overwhelming at first. I still get lost sometimes. <laughs> Welcome to Hufflepuff, by the way. Really glad to have you in our house. I'm Arthur. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Was that your cat? No, one of the first years, I think. Don't have any pets of my own, unfortunately. My mother doesn't think too highly of them, especially magical ones. Oh, uh, shame. I think magical beasts are incredible. I'm sorry to hear that. I think magical beasts are rather incredible. Best thing about coming to Hogwarts. Nifflers, Glumbumbles, Bowdruckles. I thought they were only pictures in books before. Well, Dad did bring home a puff skein once. Mum was furious. <laughs> anyway, I'd better go make sure the first years caught that cat. Don't want them to be late on their first day. Good luck, Arthur. Nice meeting you, Arthur. And good luck finding that cat. Thank you. Try not to get lost in the castle yourself. No promises. I'll do what I want. Don't tell me what to do. I don't even want to yeah. talk to you. Hey, hey, look who it is. You poacher. What are you doing here? Where'd that cat go? I can hear the cat. Where's the cat? What's up, guys? What 
just want to pet the kitty. The kitten. That's the end of the... Ow. I see him right there. Oh, I just burnt the heck out of his face. Oh dear. I want to talk to you, boy. Oh, Uncle, this doesn't sound like you. Something's wrong. Oh, hello there. You're the new Hufflepuff, yes? I'm Adelaide. Pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Is everything all right? Oh, yes. I'm just a bit distracted. Letter from my uncle. So tell me, I've been hearing all sorts of rumors. Were you really nearly gobbled up by a dragon? <laughs> yeah. I was. That one is true. Not the typical start to a new school. That's dreadful. Well, I'm glad you made it here alive. Well, anyway, I imagine you have lots to do. I hope you have a wonderful first day. Nice to meet you. Thank you, Adelaide. Be seeing you. Of course. And good luck. Is the new Hufflepuff out of bed yet? Professor Weasley's waiting for them outside the common room. But I want to love on the cat. Weasley, what? Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. <laughs> wow, here look at that. Are. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. She didn't even look shocked. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. All right. I don't even use it yet. This way. The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding law. Pavelio, I certainly would have appreciated something like a field guide when I was a student. Using the guide will also train you to be alert to your surroundings. Do keep up. Does that mean I can go to the kitchen whenever I want? Just gotta tickle that pear. Simply cast Revelio on it, and we'll see what the guide says. I like this one better.
Um, and she's good enough. Looking for more opportunities like that inside and outside of the castle. What are you doing, Weasley? Revelio. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Yeah. Open it up and find Central Hall. Don't tell me how to live my life. Was I supposed to, to teleport there? And here we are. Quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive. Accio. Our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Mm, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well, I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. Good luck today. Yeah. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Yeah, let's go. It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today, before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? Uh... I hope I didn't say too much. She caught me off guard. I didn't tell her anything else about our travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. 
We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the Field Guides map? Unfold it and have a look. Main quest, Levioso. I want Accio. The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. I just want to see what my wand looks like. What was that? You wanna like sumo wrestler or something? What was that stomp all about, boy? You get back over here, I ain't done with you. Huh? Boy? What was that about? Better watch it, boy. Got the power of ancient magic on my side. I'm watching you, Miss Big. Watch. Oh, I need to be going up this way anyway. Where? <laughs> Where's Peeves go? I love Peeves. He's a hoot and a half. <laughs> I guess I'm not on the right. Da -da 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 -da. I thought that was a uh, Professor Black. Revenia. I know where this is. Look at this. You ready? Oh wait. Reference. Reference anyone? Anyone get the reference? Oh God! Where did he go? Off on another adventure, are we? Scared the heck out of me. Revelio. I don't feel like it's in here. Let's go. Ah! Professor Rowland tends to go on a bit. We sometimes have to remind him to finish the lesson. 
signal. Some of us don't necessarily want him to get back to the left. You wouldn't make it up. Here, behind you, there is an open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Yeah, what's up, homie? Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of chant. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right? Now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Hmm. My, the summer but months I must have really knew. taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, hmm. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well. It seems that we are in dire need of review. Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get into place now. Go that uh, isn't Todd that guy that was in the uh, Forbidden Forest? Akio. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Oh, yeah! That you had to go search for in that little cave. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? I love Deke. <laughs> Deke's my favorite so, character. What better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? So why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Now, uh, that's it! Excellent control there! Good. How many points I get right there? Very good. Points to Hufflepuff. But there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. I'm gonna beat her butt. Hmm. 
Let us see this. Tell me to make her thing go down. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. Hey! <laughs> uh, I don't plan on making this easy. You want this? You really want this? Okay. Okay. You got this. I will get you back for that. Will you? <laughs> oh, you better not. Girl, you chill. Chill, 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 chill. Okay, okay. <laughs> there you go. I can't really knock that one off. Splendid. <laughs> I got a hundred more points than she did. <laughs> Dicks nuts. Let us make this ah, a bit more got him. shall we? What do you need more interesting? Ooh, obstacles. <laughs> I think we are well past interesting at this point. <laughs> I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Let us see this. Ooh, hit it, hit it, hit it. <gasps> that is how it's done. That's how it's done. I'm gonna still hit your stuff. Alright, here we go. One, two, three. Ah. Uh, That's it. That was my bad. Hey, yo, chill. Hey, yo, chill. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Stay back. No. Don't lose your uh, I lost my composure. <laughs> okay. Uh, I know everyone is watching, but try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. Boy. Good, both of you. Well done. You proud of me now, Mom? That was funny. Actually, got me. <laughs> Class is dismissed. Gather your things on the way out. Good game back there. I must admit, I think I underestimated you. <laughs> took weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. I'm holding my own. Thank you, but I've been holding my own. I appreciate your confidence. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Nice to meet you. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Of course, 
You can use Akio on humans if you're so a word of If you would. Hey, my you mom's in the hospital, man. You know it won't work on humans. You wanted to speak with me, Professor. I did. I trust your first charge. Because she works there. To expectation. Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the now. expected? You did well, managing to best as gifted a student as Miss Onai. Thank you, Professor. I enjoyed the match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Hey, yo, what do you mean by that? Professor Ronan reminds me of my grandfather. Loads of wisdom, but a bit mad. Wait, girl. After my brother learned the summoning charm, it was constant Akio this, Akio that. Cutlery flying everywhere. Quite unsafe, really. Akio. Akio. Rebellion. La Hamora. Nope, okay. That didn't work. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Hello. You wanted to speak to me. Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. Uh, wasn't too challenging, Alyssa. Thank you, but it really wasn't all that challenging. My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be a bit overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I find Professor Ronan's lessons a bit more challenging than you do. Mr. Texas, joke's on you. I'm in Louisiana. My family is in Joke's on you. I already know who you are. And I appreciate you actually getting inside of one of my streams. Pavelio. Best friend. It wasn't hard to figure out once you said, my mom. Lamora. I've always said that travel brought me a new. Is that a mouth or a beard? Oh god. Kitty <laughs> China. <laughs> oh, Sebastian, I'm gonna beat your butt. Professor Hackett! Perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, 
You may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. <laughs> Knowledge, that's how. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso. A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned. Never. Starting with something small. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Gotta be quick. Yes. I'll tell her you say hi. Levioso. Now, let's try something a little larger. Begin with a basic cast. Your basic cast. Okay. Uh, I don't have anything like that yet. Do I? No. Just basic. See how the dummy deflected your cast. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. As Master Pruitt so artfully helped me demonstrate. So, now, the basics. Well done. Oh, dang, boy. Very good. But the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelist, take your marks. I'm going to beat Sebastian. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel using only Levioso, basic cast, and Protego. You may begin. A proper Hogwarts welcome. Sorry for a proper Hogwarts welcome. This can't be your first duel. Let's just say I'm a good man. I do enjoy a lively duel. You're good. Our perspective. Do not hold my students with a sedent. Try Bye. to anticipate your opponent's next move. Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Mad you got beat by it, girl. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Hufflepuff. Thank you, Professor Heckert. Yeah. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Oh, more work? All right, that's enough spectacle for one day. Class is dismissed. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? It felt more like I was dueling an expert. Sebastian Sallow, by the way. Didn't expect a new More like Sebastian so Swallows. Then again, perhaps this hey wasn't yo. your first duel. I've had my fair share. I've dueled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh. Ooh. Fair enough. <laughs> you owe me an honest duel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. 
sounds intriguing. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Till next time. Oh, wait. Rebellion. These eyes always freak me out. It's like they follow you. Weird. Okay. Awful when they ask you a question now, isn't it? Crummy little faces. I'll just die. A hundred and forty-two staircases, and this is where they put me. Talking about you? Are you talking? I don't think he liked that. Lahamara. Pavelia. Young orphan. Hey, wrong way. Yeah, Sebastian ain't really the best character. So cute. Although he does have the saddest story. What <gasps> about the room, Professor? Deke. I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. <laughs> ah, there you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details, mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a streamer. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. 
I've noticed you spending time with them. I'd like to go with Natty. Excellent choice. Miss Onai is one of our most talented students. And she knows the area. She'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Nice. Reparo. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that, the mending charm, Reparo. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. Hmm, it seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. I a number like of your, your professors robes. have agreed to do so as well. But first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Rapero in no time. I'll, I'll start on the task it. right away, Professor. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Got it. Levioso. I love you, Peeves. I'm so upset they didn't put you in the movies. You're my favorite character. <laughs> my favorite character in the book, at least. Always causing trouble. Look at me! Oh, my bad. I trust the preliminary time. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Diagonally. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Good. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. I think he's a, having a little bit too much fun with that. Repairing. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> Revelion. Looks terrified. All right. Let's go. 
Professor Wink. Why would Black want to be headmaster? Open Sakuma. Let's go. Revelia. Not look. What if I did it right in front of her? Lumos. Oh. <gasps> oh, I'm locked in. Thought I saw it move. Hello, looking for me? Yeah. Natty, I hope I haven't kept you waiting long. Not at all. Professor Weasley tells me that you need to go to Hogsbeat. You must be eager to have your own things again. And to see the village. I've been looking forward to it. Good. Shall we set off? I intend to give you a first-rate Hogsmead experience. First-rate. Where'd that guy come from? I was there. glad Professor Weasley asked me to accompany you. Really? Yes, I, just know I had planned to extend an invitation to you myself. I thought you might enjoy a butterbee in the village. <laughs> the timing of Professor Weasley's owl was perfect. But... Oh, I cannot tell you how nice it is to breathe fresh air after being cooped up in ancient rooms. Grave mistake to take it as an elective class, believe me. I believe you. Though I suppose you would not really call it elective when your mother was the one who elected that you take it. <laughs> Hogsmeade is beautiful this time of year. Everyone will tell you to visit at Christmas. But that's one of the few times of year I would rather be indoors. Not much for the cold, are you? Oh, I do not mind the cold so much. But it has taken some getting used to. I did not grow up around snow. Oh, wait, over here. I often spot lacewing flies in this area. Oh, what's so special about them? 
They are interesting to look at. But if you student, you can also use them in potion making. You're ugly. Look, from a forbidden forest, hippogriffs. I wonder if something startled them. I heard rumors that hippogriffs had been spotted nearby. Do you think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already named them too. Prance Hoof and Sugarfoot. It's actually High Wing. That's a forbidden forest on the left. It's off limits to students, <laughs> as the name implies. Why is it off limits? The professors claim it is too dangerous. I think that calling it forbidden only makes it more alluring. Ah! There's Hogsmeade over the crest. Pass that ruin. But I like my wand. I would spend all of my time exploring if I could. I confess I was surprised when Professor Weasley mentioned that you knew the area, since you're relatively new here. She said that? Mm. She knows more about me than I had thought. I will say, while I certainly learn a great deal in class, much can be gleaned outside of the castle walls. What was that noise? Nice. Some kid gets smacked How in the face. In? I remember the weeks that followed my arrival feeling quite strange. Everything was so new and unfamiliar. I'm getting used to things. What about you? Do you finally feel settled? I still miss my homeland. But it is beautiful here too. And getting out of the castle and exploring helped me to adjust quite a bit. Hogwarts has become something of a home now, I would say. Hopefully it will for you too. Mr. Moon! He is the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Huh? Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Um, you might want to turn back, Miss On I. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What, what did Mr. Moon? Jemmy, guys. Dougly and airy and mm, terrifying. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. Poor Mr. Moon. A demigod. I think he had too much fun in the village. I will say that I have never seen him in such a state. It's because it's... Nearly there. I already there know. There is much to see outside of the castle walls, not just Hogsmeade. I am happy to explore whenever you'd like. Rumors being what they are about goblins and such, it might be nice to have a friend with you. I'll keep that in mind, Natty. Thank you. And here we are. It is hard to know where to start. The Three Broomsticks is the place for butter beer. And you can get any sweet you can imagine at Honey Dukes. I could not choose a favorite shop here. It changes with every visit. I can tell you that you are certain to find everything you need in Hogsmeade. Professor Weasley said that you need to get potion recipes, spellcraft, some seeds, and... A new wand. Of course. You will enjoy Mr. Ollivander, and I am keen to see what you will do with a wand of your own. You should be able to collect everything you need and still have time to explore a little as well. Experience Hogsmeade at your own pace. We can meet up in the town circle when you are finished. Enjoy yourself. I will see you soon.
Alright, thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, share, share it with your raven, share it with your lion, share it with your snake, share it with your badger, share it with your mom, dad, cousin, uncle, whatever. And thank you guys so much for watching. Hope to see you in the next one. Let's save.